Hello Internet, you're listening to Sven. I thought I'd share with you a bit of a fascination I have with, with ants. Uh, what I did here was I dropped a beetle, a dead beetle, by an anthill, and I created this time lapse. Now something you probably won't be aware of, I know a lot of you guys watching my videos, you either own a helmet camera, maybe you're thinking about buying one. This was recorded with a helmet camera. Certainly, both the Drift Innovation, which I reviewed recently, and the GoPro, uh, probably some others I don't know, I can't be bothered to look, but um, they'll take still photos. And different intervals are available. For instance, it'll take a photo every 3 seconds, every 5 seconds, every 10 seconds, maybe every 30 seconds, whatever. So as long as you've got the power and the SD space, um, the Drift Innovation HD can be powered from the main. So effectively, if you wanted to and you were that boring, you could film a tree growing. But I love playing with this sort of stuff. I've included a few clips here of some bits and bobs I've played around with. I'm probably going to do some more. I'm really getting into this. Uh, a lot of these cameras are waterproof underwater, so I mean there's options there. Um, I'm really sort of keen to, to, to play around with this. Um, so yes, um, what I'm going to be doing is I couldn't find a piece of software anywhere on the web. The problem you've got is once you've turned the camera off, you're left with a bunch of like 2,000 photos. What good is that to me? Uh, so I'm I was trying to find a piece of software that would quickly uh, make a make a make my images into a time lapse. I couldn't find one. What I'm going to do is, following on from this video, if you're interested, I'm going to be creating a tutorial on how to create uh, the time lapse from the photos. But I really love playing around with this. Um, I'm surprised that these, you know, it's kind of an overlooked feature, right? These are helmet cameras. You know, once you've done playing around the road, once you've done all that, you know, point it at an anthill, point it at a flower growing, I don't know. This stuff really does fascinate me. Hope it interests you. So, yeah, look out for some more of this. Talk to you soon, guys. Cheers.